Los Pueblos High School student faces charges of sending threatening emails to a teacher and an administrator. News Channel 3's Elise Martinez joins us live at Dos Pueblos High School. And Elise, the presence of a law enforcement officer posted on that campus gets the credit for resolving the potential threat so quickly. Beth, everyone I talked to today tells me this campus is safe because that officer moved so quickly. But today I learned Santa Barbara High School may lose its resource officer next year because of budget issues. And the head of the school district tells me, in light of what happened here today, he wants to make sure that doesn't happen. I was informed that one of our teachers and administrators had received some threatening emails. Deputy George Hedricks had to act fast after a series of threatening emails were sent to Dos Pueblos High School staff Thursday morning. Within 30 minutes, he identified a 15-year-old student on campus who was then arrested. Yes, we were able to avert something, but somebody got in trouble for it, a young person, and, and that's never a good thing. Hedricks is a Santa Barbara County Sheriff's deputy. He works full-time on campus at Dos Pueblos as a school resource officer. The kids who were freshmen when I first came in, they're seniors. So I've known a lot of these kids for four years. That's a long time to know anybody, and you do build relationships. Superintendent David Cash says resource officers like Hedricks keep students and faculty safe. Having a school resource officer on campus that's familiar with everything, the school, how the school operates, the staff there, knows all the students, makes any response to any incident happen so much faster than it would if we would have to call it in. And now the superintendent has another challenge because one of his high schools might lose its resource officer over Santa Barbara City budget issues. We've already been notified that preliminarily they've decided not to um, have that position funded for next year. Cash says he's doing all he can to stop that from happening. Having an officer that's assigned to the campus makes a world of difference and I think in the last uh, 36 hours that's really been demonstrated with what happened at Dos Pueblos High School. The superintendent tells me he will work closely with city council to keep an officer at Santa Barbara High School. As for here at Dos Pueblos, the student accused of sending those emails is in juvenile hall, facing charges of making criminal threats. Live in Galita, Elise Martinez, News Channel 3. Okay.